My name is Idra Gode, and I am here today with RSVP Detroit Eats Cooking Show. Today we'll actually be making gumbo, which is one of my absolute favorite dishes. It is something that reminds me of my parents and my grandparents, and it's something that we cook in our home very, very often. Today we're just cooking a nice hearty chicken and sausage gumbo. There are a couple little special um, secret ingredients um, that you'll discover to make a really nice smoky, hearty gumbo. So can't wait for you to join us. which the roux really is the base of all Creole and Cajun cooking. And it's just equal parts fat. So you can use vegetable oil, you can use bacon grease, you can use butter. Um, we're just gonna stick with um, just traditional vegetable oil. So equal parts vegetable oil and flour. This is something that you need to continue to stir and make sure that you watch because it is very easy to burn a roux. Now there is a, a very easy way so that you don't burn a roux is actually to put it in the oven. So if you set your oven to 350 degrees, um, set the timer to 30 minutes and stir it every 30 minutes until you get the desired darkness, then you have a less chance of actually burning a roux than cooking it on the stove. Putting it in the oven is gonna take a little longer. Um, to get the desired darkness that we want for this nice dark gumbo, it's gonna take about two and a half to three hours in the oven. On top of the stove, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes, but there is a higher chance of it burning. So we're just gonna wash this um, make sure that we constantly stir it so that it doesn't burn. But this is also a reason why it's really important to use something like a Dutch oven or a really heavy duty pot. All right, so as you guys can see, this root is starting to darken a bit. So it's starting to change color. And this is after just a few minutes. So we do want it of course get it much darker than this. What we're looking for is a roux that's gonna be about the color of chocolate. The darker the roux, um, the more rich the flavor. Um, so it doesn't have as much thickening agent. So the lighter the roux, the more it's gonna thicken, um, but the darker the roux, then the more, the richer the flavor is gonna be. So for this gumbo, we do want a really rich flavor. But this is also why it's really important that you watch this roux um, and that you make sure, you constantly start to make sure that it doesn't burn because as it gets darker, it is very easy to burn it. So I'm just gonna lower my fire just a little bit just so it doesn't burn. I just wanna continue to stir that. All right, so this is about the color that we want the roux. You can see it's a nice chocolate, Color. And then as it sits, it's actually going to darken once we add um, our Holy Trinity. It is going to continue to cook, so it'll darken a little bit even more. Um, but this is really a nice starting point um, to now, at this point, we want to add our Holy Trinity. When I say Holy Trinity, what I mean is really the base of Cajun and Creole cooking, and that is onions, celery, and bell peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and add that right now. It is two parts onions to one part celery and bell pepper. So we're just gonna let that cook for just a couple minutes until our vegetables are tender. So as you can see, that roux is getting even darker um, and it is nicely coating our onions, bell peppers, and celery. So while that cooks, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our sausage slice that down. So what I have today is I actually have a um, undoey sausage and just a regular double smoked sausage. So we're gonna go ahead and just slice those up because we'll be adding that next into our pot. Now that smoked sausage and the smoked undoey is gonna add a really nice smoky flavor to the gumbo, which is what I really like. I love that smoked flavor in gumbo. Um, which is why I add the ingredients that I do. Again, everybody really makes that gumbo differently. This is just how I really like mine. So now that we've added the sausage and the andouille, I'm gonna stir that up and let that cook for a couple minutes. While that's starting to cook, we're just gonna go ahead and add a little over a teaspoon of salt. 
a little bit of cayenne pepper, of course, a little bit of spice, not too much. Now, as you can see, this roux has gotten even darker because, of course, it's still continuing to cook um, as um, these, the onions and bell peppers and celery cook, and, of course, our sausage and undoing. Again, it's still super important that you don't let the roux burn, so continue to stir this as it's cooking in there with the sausage and undoing. Now, we just want to add our water to start to create our stock. Now we just want to turn our fire back up so that we can get this, uh, bring this up to a boil. Once we bring this up to a boil, then we are going to let this cook for about, we're gonna lower our heat um, to about a medium low, and then we're just gonna let it cook uncovered for about an hour. But this is already starting to smell really, really good. So at this point is where you wanna add, and this again, this is optional, this is just like, my thing that I always love to add, I love smoked turkey necks in gumbo. Um, one, it just increases that really amazing smoky flavor in there. Um, and I love eating smoked turkey necks. Um, so at this point, just, we're gonna just add a couple pieces of smoked turkey neck. Now that we have it up full boil, we're gonna give that one final stir. And then we're just gonna let this cook for like an hour. And just bring that down to meat. So now that we've gotten into this stage, what we wanna add next is our chicken. Now this is just some diced chicken breast that I have. Um, you can use chicken thighs, you can use other parts too, whether it's chicken drumsticks, um, again, thighs, it's whatever it is you wanna put in. Um, I'm not a fan of fighting with my food, so I just cut up chicken breast and put those in there. And then now that we've gotten it at this stage is where we really let it cook down for about another two hours um, on like low, we just let it simmer and simmer for a couple hours. Again, just to get that, that kind of bitter roux flavor cooked out. So we're just gonna let that go. Now we have our gumbo that has been cooking for all of about three, three and a half hours. So we've added the chicken to this. As you can see, that chicken breast is starting to break up into um, the gumbo. We have our smoked turkey neck that is nice and tender and it's starting to fall off the bone. And this is when you know your gumbo is ready. So the last thing that we wanna do, we just wanna add just a pinch of fresh parsley just to finish that. A little bit of fresh green onions, gumbo filet. So filet is just ground sassafras leaves. So you just wanna add that. And then just a touch of hot sauce. So my favorite is definitely Louisiana hot sauce. So just a couple dashes. Turn it off. Give it one last stir. And y'all, that is it. We just made sausage and chicken gumbo. Party portion of that. Right, right in the middle. Now, one thing that some Louisianas do, not all, is um, we like to add potato salad. So it's definitely something that my family does, and everyone that is really raised what we call around the German coast, which is um, parishes of like St. John the Baptist Parish, St. James Parish. We put potato salad in our gumbo. So some people put it inside the bowl, some people put it to the side, um, and some people are like, what, potato salad and gumbo? Absolutely not. Um, so we're gonna get a little bit of potato salad over here with our gumbo. Finish that off with some green onions. Top it with just a little bit of parsley. And there you have it. So we have our chicken and smoked sausage gumbo topped with a little bit of cooked rice and our side of potato salad. Um, thank you guys for watching. We hope to see you guys soon. Again, my name is Idra Gode. You can find me on Facebook at Gabriel Hall, G-A-B-R-I-E-L-H-A-L-L. -L. 
are on Instagram at Gabriel Hall D E T. So that is G A B R I E L H A L L D E T. Thanks.